Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and there is a new game engine coming soon called Action Game Maker. And the special thing about this game engine is it is developed by the people behind the engine you see in front of you right now. This is Pixel Game Maker from the creators of RPG Maker and other game engines. We'll get back to that in just a second. This is their action-oriented solution. It's for creating, you know, top-down, shmup games, side-scrollers, that kind of stuff. You can see the type of games it is used to create right here. Uh, and this has been around for about six years now. You may notice the uh, programming language logic behind it is basically using like a, a visual um, programming language like see flowchart kind of approach to it uh, basically state machines but it's got everything you need to create these kinds of games the entire idea is to make this kind of game development very easy for people I've never really was in love with pixel game maker I, I like the concept behind it I know it's got some loyal fans behind it but it is now being replaced with Action Game Maker, and Action Game Maker is powered by the Godot Game Engine. This one, by the way, is powered by Cocos 2DX. We'll get back to that in just a little bit. Now, the name something Game Maker probably sounds familiar to you. It has nothing to do, by the way, with the old school yo-yo games, Game Maker, now owned by Opera. But instead, you've got a series of maker engines. The most popular one is definitely RPG Maker. This has been around for like 30 years now. Used to create JRPG-style games. There is also uh, the VN Maker, which is Visual Novel Maker, obviously, for creating that style of game. And, of course, Pixel Game Maker MV. This is ultimately what Action Game Maker is going to be replacing. Uh, and this is for creating, again, 2D action style games, be it platformer, side scroller, shmups, that kind of thing. And that gets to today's news. The uh, action game maker is being announced. So again, this is coming soon. I think it is very early on. Uh, so this is pretty much the first we've ever heard of it. So uh, there's a basically first in a series of letters going forward to Action Game Maker. Uh, this new title is indeed part of our long-running Maker series and is designed to be the successor to Pixel Game Maker MV. The predecessor was successfully implemented in a visual scripting language inspired by RPG Maker series and make it work for a 2D action game. So people were able to use the tool we provided to also make puzzle, shooting, fighting, and many other types of games. Uh, as of the start of July 2024, they've managed to release over 50 uh, user-created titles on the Nintendo Switch. However, we must also admit that it has been more than six years since Pixel Game Maker MV released, and we've been getting a lot of comments for improvements. Users who want to make bigger games, who want more improvements in the workflow and features that Pixel Game Maker MV currently lacks. Um, taking those requirements for improvements to our development team made us realize that issues present in the code base for Pixel Game Maker MV make those improvements particularly difficult. Some are fundamental limitations in how the scripting system was originally architected, and some are due to the age of the underlying framework. Instead of continuing to decay major updates as we struggle to implement fixes and requests, we have decided that it is in the best long-term interest of our users to build a brand new maker title created from the ground up with a new framework. Now let me take a moment to discuss our thinking on the new title. The great appeal of Pixel Game Maker was how flexible our visual scripting was and how much you could create without any coding. It started with the basic idea of building on RPG Maker's event command concept and layering on uh, common events, uh, which does allow you to create a large variety of RPGs and even some action experiences if you apply some creativity. However, a lot of plugins are needed to cr really create something that is uniquely yours in RPG Maker and some knowledge of scripting or full programming becomes necessary. We felt that a lot of our users have run into this hurdle, although we know some of you lovely tinkers out there uh, enjoy making RPG Maker systems work for you. So Pixel Game Maker was created uh, to give those users a step forward, a way to create something more expressive with their creativity while having a lower threshold of entry that doesn't require coding. Indeed, I'm one of those users myself. To further achieve that original vision, uh, we've selected the Godot engine to be our new engine base. Godot engine is a fast growing engine with a lot of really attractive features for us, which I'll go over in future letter. However, despite all the attention Godot has received, the switch from Godot 3 to 4 called for the removal of Godot's visual scripting system. This presented us with an amazing opportunity. We knew we needed to provide more to our users and now Godot is lacking in a function that we know really well. And that's how we current plan to kick this our, our current plan was kicked off. As an example, one of the biggest issues with Pixel Game Maker MV was the base engine. Cocos 2DX made it very difficult to, uh, for us to extend the API and make more functions available for you, our users, to access. By selecting Godot Engine, we are working towards providing basically unrestricted access to all of Godot's 2D functionality through our scripting system. Additionally, we are sure that you will think of use cases or functions that we haven't. After all, it takes a lot of imagination and passion to make a game, and so we are making sure that Action Game Maker's editor functions are more extensible and flexible 
flexible than before so we can be more agile in addressing your feedback. Uh, for all our dear Pixel Game Maker Envy users who have given us so much passion, for all the Maker community members who have been waiting for a new challenge, and to those who struggle with programming, we're hard at work to make Action Game Maker something worth your time. It will be a bit before we're ready to release, uh, but we hope you will join us as we move ever closer to release. Uh, special note to current users of Pixel Game Maker MV, fully aware that it takes years to make games, especially for indie developers. Accordingly, we, we continue to provide updates, fixes, and support for Pixel Game Maker MV for some time. We will do our best to provide all we can uh, given our company size, but we know there will be limits and some issues will not be addressed in a fully satisfactory manner. As such, it is a hope that PGMMV users will take more advantage of open source player component we released last year. Additionally, due to the change in the base engine, Pixel Game Maker projects are not directly compatible with Action Game Game Maker, while assets such as graphics and sounds can be reused, game logic will need to be re implemented from scratch. It is our hope that users uh, to decide. Uh to make the switch, we'll be uh, able to use existing knowledge to quickly recreate with similar yet improved systems provided in Action Game Maker. Now, it's interesting to note, this isn't the first time they have done something this. They actually made a version of RPG Maker called RPG Maker Unite, which ran on top of Unity. It was awful. Uh, I have no idea where they've come since. And it looks like there's been a couple of updates, which is nice to see. Uh, but they basically implemented uh, RPG Maker inside of the Unity game engine. Very interesting project. It's just the execution of it was terrible. I do like the idea of what they are doing here uh, by making Action Game Maker, this new version of it, basically a replacement for Pixel Game Maker. And their entire idea is to uh, complement Godot, uh, which has since removed its visual scripting. Now, this is going to be a commercial project. I do not think they will actually be contributing to the Godot project. I don't know that they've ever really contributed to open source in the past. They've, they've released things as open source, but uh, for example, they used to be built on top of Ruby, and I don't know that they really got involved with the Ruby community per se, so I don't know how much we will see upstream from this back to Godot, because it would be awesome if they would release their visual scripting language as an add-on for Godot and then did everything else kind of proprietary, uh, but I, I don't expect to see that happen. I do honestly think that at the end of the day, this is going to be a version of Godot which is commercial with their stuff built on top of it. Uh, but I honestly, I don't think that's necessarily a terrible thing. I don't know if Godot is going to benefit much from this because just the nature of their business model. Uh, but it is interesting to see that Godot is being selected for the next Maker series of game engines, specifically Action Game Maker. I'm curious what you think. I do think that um, Godot really heavily could use a good visual scripting language. What was pulled out of it was not a good language. Uh, and this is an area where I hope they don't abandon it. I do think Godot would use something like that. In fact, I've got a video about that coming very soon. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's where they're going with this. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.